Today's the day, the culmination of years of poverty, anxiety, and self-doubt. Today it's all going to pay off because today is my meeting with Rick, my agent, and he's going to tell me that the script is a winner. I can just feel that today is one of those rare days you remember because it's the day when your life changed forever. That's what I love about this city. Life turns on a dime. Post. The writer's journey is at best a Come on, Lara. We've been dating for eight months. You see I'm online. Say something. What's the name of that book that guy at that place that I should read? Now, you know what? She logs on, she sees I'm online, she doesn't say the first hello. Never. Is that weird or is that just me? What? Lara, she sees I'm online, I'm practically staring her right in the face. Say this again. I just, I don't get it. She's supposed to be this independent woman and I'm the one that needs to I am her first. <laughs> what, <laughs> what is that? It's instant messaging. Maybe she's chatting to somebody else. Maybe her page is cluttered and the window is buried. Or you know what? Maybe she's just a cunt. That's the whole metaphor for our relationship, you know? Her logging on is, is like her walking into a room and ignoring me. Gotta go. All right. Hey, uh, The Alchemist. What? The book is The Alchemist. Right, right. Thank you. Hi. You ever read The Alchemist? Contemplating. I don't, I don't talk that way. I suck. Upper level delay on the Manhattan Bridge. The lower level will cut the delay in half from the DWV side in half. GWB is your best chance across the Hudson River because of the Holland Tunnel. What's she doing? Wait, I have to type something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't worry, my little tumbleweed. You cannot see us. Huh? This, this party started. <laughs> Ah. News radio time 8.35. And now the weather. There will be several hours of hazy sunshine today and a chance of thunderstorms tonight and tomorrow. So it's a funny thing when you look at the world through the eyes of a writer. The world goes on around you and you get to observe. Asshole! Usually from a safe distance. Incredibly self-indulgent, I know, but you write what you know. Yep, always the finance guys in that corner. Tom Wolfe's Masters of the Universe, facing another tumultuous day in the pits. Booyah! 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 Ah. Having just closed a major deal, this distinguished group celebrates the first shipment of new and improved rubber doggy crap from Beijing. Finally, a day off without the kids. Or, or with the kids. Probably going to the zoo or something. Hey. Hey. How did you know I was here? You're always here. I know it is not your birthday and it's not Christmas, but I wanted to give you something to celebrate your big day, so I went to your favorite bookstore. You went to the Strand. Got you this. You got me a book? On writing. For dummies. Because you're like a writer.
Hi, okay, I'll, I'll call you back in one second. Can I'm going to go back. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hi, can you I'll take save the that one. to the 50th, please? Thank you. Bye-bye. Writing, or good writing, lies beyond the writer and the reader. It lies beyond words on a page, pixels on a screen. That is nothing. It's when you find yourself as a reader in their world, they meet, and a magical synthesis happens. Where the reader can say, you know what, I read that short story, that novel, that screenplay, that haiku, that whatever. But I was there. I know what it's like to be an orphan. I know why the caged bird sings. I was there when a man sold a hot dog. When that 16th century explorer discovered the windmill on the moon in a rocket. Your teacher says that tomorrow's assignment is reading chapter four of Are You There, God? It's me, Margaret. Jeremy, my only surviving friendship from college. Sorry, babe. <sighs> I owe you one. What about you? I owe me one, too. Yes, he was always this way. Jeremy was a child star in the 70s, doing everything from walk-ons and different strokes as Arnold's white friend du jour to commercials. He was that smiling peanut butter kid in 82. Ring a bell. Scoopy. <laughs> it's chocolicious. So what's up with the script? I'm gonna meet Rick at three o'clock. Happy day. <sighs> this just said you up. Well, what are you looking at? A million? A half a million? <laughs> yeah, I wish. What? What? Don't what me. What? You, nothing. What nothing? I, you see what you just did? What? You just broke the whole cadence of the conversation. All right, it's Lara. Nah, fuck, Paul. Okay. I knew it. Here you are on the verge of a major breakthrough, and you let yet another girl break your pace. You should be walking around with a perma smile on your face, man. You're about to be a goddamn millionaire. And notice you allow the conversation to swerve back to the subject of Lara. Hey, you're right. We should be smoking cigars, man. It's 10.30 in the morning. Instead, we're going to see what's his name. Take it easy on him. He's got some emergency he wants to talk about. You serious? I don't know. It could be. Oh, that's too bad. So how long been dating her for? Uh, you know. Say it. Eight months. Almost nine months. Almost nine months. Almost nine months. Yeah. And for at least half that time, you've been doing nothing but complaining about it. There are a lot of obstacles that we have to overcome, all right? Chiefly among them, I'm not rich enough, or big enough, or masculine enough. Plus the, the distance. She lives on 90th Street. It's a subway thing. You are allowed to be happy. I'm happy? My mistake. Hey, wait, what, what is happy anyway? They say happy is overcoming struggle, right? I want you to consider something. Coming from somebody who's been there. And divorced. And divorced. Twice. All the more so. These are the good old days. Any troubles you're having now are going to be multiplied a million times if you ever tie the noose. The knot. The noose. Yeah, babe. Is everything all right? Yeah, sure. Why? Are you okay? Yes, everything is fine, honey. Okay. That's not what I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. You didn't come. 
Come where? Orgasm, honey. You didn't have an orgasm. Sorry. Sure I did. What are you talking about? Crazy. Am I not turning you on? I fart when I come. Uh, I mean, I don't. I hold back. God only knows what she's thinking. Can you get an aneurysm from something like that? Urban myth. I mean, there are worse things, right? There's erectile dysfunction. Wait, what's so bad about just letting one rip? There, there's incontinence, I know that. And no, I cannot just let one rip. There's a certain decorum that's expected in the marital bed. Mm -hmm. The tits are out today. Hey, uh, how are you? Good. Yeah. Oh, hey, how's your, how's your problem? Whoa. Oh, it's, it's all good? Yeah, uh, thanks for asking. You don't, you don't really care, do you? You're just being polite. Yeah, basically, yeah. So you've got an, uh, an exciting day, yeah? No, oh, careful, the closest coffee shop. And what, there's no other places to get coffee? Oh, it's not about the coffee, it's about the place. It's my third place, it's, remember this conversation? Yeah, the place you live, the place you work. And the place I go to get away from where I live and where I work. It's my third place. This was your third place. I totally get it. You have been displaced. Displaced, yep. yeah. thank you. Yeah. And then there's Lara. You really know how to keep a conversation moving. It's, it's that ADHD thing, it, it's just. You know what it is about Lara? <laughs> it's instant message infidelity. Infidelity, right? <laughs> You've heard about this. Everyone's heard about this. You know, you can't tell me that you're not doing a million other things while you're chatting to her. No, I'm not, I'm not typing to three other girls at the same time, if that's what you mean. You're in one of the most exciting cities in the whole world on one of the most important days of your life. And you're not even enjoying it. And it's not about Lara. It could be about any girl. It's just the way that you're programmed. I run on two speeds, OK? It's inspiration and desperation. Neurotic and pathetic. Yeah, it's got you this far. But come on. Don't you get tired of feeling like this? You could break the cycle if you want to. It's all in your head. This is all from that fucking seminar, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. But I've also known you since you were 16. Okay, I gotta go. All of a sudden? Yeah, give me a call when you get the good news, all right? And, um, yeah. He's just bored. Yeah? yeah. Sorry. I'd like to be bored with five million in the bank. Hey. I, I, I'm Jeremy. Uh, Roxy. Roxy? Yeah. You want anything else to eat, Gaspag? Hey. Hey, it's me. But I guess you knew that from your caller ID, so. I, you're in the bathroom, I guess, or in a meeting. Um, anyway, I'm about to go in. I hope your day's going well. Mm-hmm. Homeway calls? Honestly? It's crap. Okay, tell me your enthusiasm. I am. It's really crap. I'm sorry. It's a treatise on a sexless relationship. I mean, come on, who the hell wants to watch that? All right, I'm home. So that's it? Look, it was a good effort. Use it as a, as a writing sample. A writing sample? This is what you brought me down here for, Rick? I, I have been writing and rewriting this thing. I have been living and eating and breathing this script for a year. I am a substitute teacher in a public school in the Bronx, for Christ's sake. And you tell me, good effort? Look, what can I say? You still went farther than anybody else in your NYU class. I mean, you got an agent. Okay, first of all, it's further. Farther is distance. Further is extent. I put out feelers. What do you want me to do? Nobody wants it. Am I supposed to go around and bang them over the head with the script? Buy this script now? Yeah, yeah, you tried that? You want my read? You're too content. You lost that, that edge that made your writing so edgy. Adam on line one. I am anything but content. Adam, baby. Yeah. Yep, deals 50000 a week. It'll take about two. Mm-hmm, right. 
Yeah. Well, then take your month in Maui. Okay, well, we'll, we'll think about it. Yeah. Hello, uh... Why aren't you throwing me those jobs? It doesn't work like that. Here's my writing sample. Look, I gotta go. I'm out of time. A lot of money, Rick. You were just another fucking agent. Now you get nasty. You should be writing this stuff down. You're a stereotype. You're a cliche. You think? You said you loved it. I'm an agent. You're not my agent anymore. You're fired. OK, I'm fired. a dozen writing gigs here. Startup companies seek story pitches from hipster scribes. Pitch one of those. I'm, first of all, I'm not a hipster. I'm twice as old as hipsters. Just an idea. Second, I I can't pitch. I just I, I just can't sell myself like that. It makes me nervous. I can never do that. I'm a writer. Sort of. Oh, Christ. I need to meet Lara for a celebration dinner. You're a writer. Hold that thought. Look, I don't know if you'd want to, but why don't you come work for us? Wired City. I mean, I don't know why I didn't think of this six months ago. We're always hiring freelance writers. Look, I can't promise you anything because Schmucko does the hiring, but if he likes you, maybe we could have something for you. I feel like he's holding something back. Like, he wants to let go, but he's just too bullheaded, you know? He clamps down. And I don't get to hear the real him, the real Greg. Stephanie, you have to understand that something happens when a man marries later in life. He's built walls, formed behavior that has enabled him to cope from his formative years into adulthood. But those walls don't come down just because there's a wedding. If it's lack of intimacy, you know, I, we could work on that. But if it's... It's gas. So go to the bathroom. Anyway, doctor, no, as I was saying. It's gas. What? When we're in bed and um, you know, we're doing it, lately it builds up. And I, I don't know. Gas. Yeah. That's what this is. It's gas. Yeah, honey. So we're paying $200 because you have to fart and you're too embarrassed to tell me. Yeah, well, I guess so. $200? Stephanie, I don't think this is about Greg's passing gas. It's about communication. Hmm? Do you have gas right now? Huh? Do you have to break wind? <laughs> I mean, I, I, got, I got a little something. OK. Do it. Guys, I don't really think this is part of our therapy. Seriously, I think this is important. I, th I think you should do it. Mm, I think it's a little inappropriate, don't you think? You know what, honey? I think we should handle our problems ourselves. I think that this could be good. Are you crazy? Remember our honeymoon? I had those bad clams, and I, I would lock myself Greg, in the bathroom honey. for two hours. Greg, guys, honey, I don't me. think that's You're what we're doing in our therapy. Look at me. I, I, it's me. This is important, no. and I think you should do it. No, I think it's that's, a little We're not going there. Not in therapy. Dr. No, Levine. We're going to me. Therapy. We should learn to handle I, our problems ourselves. Greg. Dr. Levine. Stephanie. Greg. The, guys. Greg. You should do it. Okay. Here goes. Wait, hang on. Uh, nice. How do you feel? Problem solved. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, guys, I think we still have 10 minutes. I, th I suggest we do a follow-up session. Yes. Well, you know what, Dr. Levine? I think we've had a major breakthrough today. So thank you. Car keys. Come on, honey. Well, I'm glad you at least got to clear the air. <laughs> I think I cleared my pants. Oh. You fired him. Yeah. I mean, he didn't like my stuff. <laughs> Can I oh, my God. But this, I remember it was you who said, I need an agent who believes in me. I'm just... I'm laughing because he's got a job tomorrow. He has a paycheck coming in. Thank you for your sympathy. You, your caring's overwhelming. I do care. I, I am sympathetic. It's just, this throws everything off. Look, you're not even letting me get to the good part. Uh, there's a good part to this. Yes. As a matter of fact, maybe. 
There's a writing job at an online magazine. This from Rick? No, no, this is something else. It's called Wired City. It's one of... Jeremy's companies. Terrific. Ah, what would you be doing? I don't know, writing, something. What? It's not good enough. <laughs> no, Paul, I'm sorry, it's not. It is not good enough, not for you. I mean, a writer, a writer is somebody, you know, has cachet, it screams career. I mean, this, this internet thing, I mean, what are you gonna be, like a glorified blogger or something? Why are you taking this so personally? Because it's personal. I mean, a job writing for the web, I mean, is this your consolation prize for a million dollars? I never said it was gonna get a million. Maybe you can live your life freelancing one day to the next. I can't. Nobody's asking you to. I have a full-time job. What does this have to do with you? Well, I don't always want to have to work. I don't, I don't want to have to work when I've got kids. I want to have kids. I want to be able to raise them, but I need a husband who can take care of us. Honey, we talked about marriage. We talked about having kids. But I'm older than you. You're a year older than me. But I'm not willing to wait. Look, Jeremy is a millionaire. He doesn't have to be serious about anything. You do. If you want to have a future with me, then you do. Clara, I'm dying here. I'm doing everything that I can, and I can do you. I can't do it anymore. This isn't new. No. I mean, it's been on my You've mind. Been... I was waiting for you to finish the script. I, I was thought... waiting for you to... I was waiting for you to fall in love with me. Me too. Oh, that's finally out there. Before the appetizers, even. Hey, how we all doing tonight? Actually, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Fuck. I got you meeting at Wired City. Schmucko's expecting you. I'm not going anywhere. I can't do this now. Yeah, you are, and yeah, you can. You have no idea what this wake-up call cost me. Pants, here you go. Shirt, nice shirt. Is your shoe? Where's your other shoe? Uh... All right, go. Shower. Get the job. Get the girl. Your life is solved. Come on. Go, go, go! Shower. Turns out Wired City is an upper class review on coffee and technology and their effects on the wealthy. They raised 50 million in an IPO. After the tech wreck, Jeremy ended up with half the company's 25 cent stock. Schmucko is the guy with the other half, some eccentric named Tritman. What happened? They go out of business? No, they just moved. Where to? Evidently so eccentric, he gave up the corporate headquarters and now operates the whole company from a coffee bar on the Upper East Side. Excuse me, is there a Tritman here? Ah, oh, yes, Mr. Tritman. <laughs> Come on, follow me. 
You've heard of the paperless office, Harvey. This is the officeless office. Yeah, I've reduced my overheads. I'm living large. Yeah, I, I, I'll Skype you later. Uh, we don't do paper. Manny, another latte, if you will. So, you're a Miller's friend. Yeah. Yes. Ever write for a newspaper? Uh, no. Ever write for a magazine? No. Ever write for the web? I have a blog. Don't count. I didn't think so. So, what's your domain? My what? Your specialty, your forte. What's in your wheelhouse? I'm a screenwriter. Oh, screenwriter. Anything I heard of? I, no. Okay, screenwriter, we are Wired City. We're about four things, technology, coffee, wealth, and coffee. We're eccentric, eclectic, and hot-wired, but wireless. Ideas are our commodity. Wit and opinion are the meat and potatoes of our bread and butter. So, as they say in Hollywood, pitch me something. Okay, um, how about this? Okay, um, I got nothing. Well, that happens. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't think this is a fit. Unless uh, you think otherwise. No, I don't, I don't. I'm sorry that I, I wasted your time. some guy who has lost everything. But you know what he's got? He's got an iPod, and he's got a cell phone, and he's still got his laptop, and, and you know, whatever else. But what do you do with that? What do you do with that? In, in a city, in a city where everybody's connected, and nobody, nobody's connecting. So this is a story of this guy who's starting over from page one. How? Do I, how does he do that? How does he unplug from all this stuff and just, just connect? That's my pitch. I like it. You're hired. Really? Manny, another latte over here. That's what I love about this city. Life turns on a dime. Yeah. 